The patients after a transplant are sometimes concerned that their grafts have fallen out. And for the most part, what patients are looking at is the, the hair plus the internal root sheath. And that's something that's normally shed. A uh, hair transplant is really a follicle transplant. The hair is kind of incidental because that hair is shed and then the follicle will produce a new uh, hair about three months after the, after the grafting. So when you see that, that hair come out, it's really normal and it's nothing to be concerned about. The hair will have a little bulb at the bottom of it that's not the root of the hair, that's just the root sheath and it's something that is not living and it's something that um, does not prevent that, the graft from taking. Um, if you were to lose a graft, there would, there would be bleeding, and that usually only occurs the first day or two after the procedure and is also very, very uncommon. Um, we did a study a number of years ago to see when the grafts were totally permanent, and it turns out that at 10 days, the grafts are totally incorporated into the body, and at that point, no amount of scrubbing or combing um, can, can dislodge them. So in post-op care, immediately after the surgery, uh, we have patients, uh, this is you know the day, the, the next morning, we have patients shampoo their hair um, and gently tap the area to get any oozing or crusting off and to get it as clean as possible. Um, a rubbing motion um, can actually dislodge the grass right away. And again, once uh, you've gone 10 days, then you can just shampoo and wash your hair normally.